So Taylor Swift is going to the Super Bowl. Sorry, I had to. But last night is the first game that I've watched all year long. Because to be honest with you guys, I'm not a sports guy. I never watch team sports. But my son came over and he was like, hey, let's watch the game together. And so we sat and watched the Chiefs and the Ravens. And as we watched the game, and especially when we got to the end of it, I said to myself, you know, if I was a closed-minded, narrow-minded, bigoted redneck who thought women should just stay in the kitchen and remain quiet all the time, uh, yeah, I could see where this might annoy me because the camera definitely did cut to Taylor Swift quite a bit. But uh, that didn't bother me because I'm a level-headed human being that don't get it bent out of shape over a woman attending a football game that her boyfriend's playing at. What does bother me is these deep fake AIs that have been circulating of Taylor Swift. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there was uh, some graphic images that were deep fake AIs that circulated on social media. And on X, there was one account that the post was shared 45 million times before it was finally took down. Now, Twitter, I'm never going to call it X, Twitter said that they are taking uh, action against the accounts that posted it and they're working hard to make sure that doesn't happen again and they remove images like that. But that's Elon Musk's platform. Do you honestly trust that? Do you honestly think that they're going to care when they are the kings of misinformation? And what's really troubling to me about this whole thing is we have to get past this point of the polarizing politics. And there has to come a point where we say, hey, the truth's the truth, facts are facts, evidence is evidence, and regardless of which side of the political aisle you fall on, you're just going to have to face up to that every now and then. But instead, what we have, we have the Republicans who are always telling us, these MAGA Republicans are always preaching so hard against fake news. And everything that you try to point to them that is facts and evidence, they will tell you, no, that's not real, that's fake news. So if they really believe that, then you would think that they would be against fake news. You would think they would be against AI. You'd think they would be against deep fakes. But these were shared over 45 million times. People kept pushing that out there into the universe. And with this conspiracy theory mindset that so many on the far right have, there's no way that you're going to be able to convince them that they weren't real. Because there's always going to be, yeah, but I heard they were real. This guy I worked with told me that he was talking to an old boy down at the gas station, and he told him that he heard another guy say, and it just goes on and on and on. So my question is, when are we ever going to get to a point where the truth can actually be told and somebody just has to own up that they're either right or wrong about it. I don't have a problem when someone can lay facts and evidence down in front of me and prove me wrong. It's happened to me plenty of times in my life. That's one of the reasons why I walked away from the church. I was brought up in it. I, I was taught to believe in it just like everybody else. But people will say to me, well, you know, what caused you to walk away? Why'd you walk away? Well, first of all, it was reading the Bible. It was, it was coming to grips with what kind of book it truly is. And then it was facing up to the facts and the evidence that this thing was a completely man-made book. And I had to say to myself, I can't sit here and hinge my whole life on this. I can't sit here and pin my faith to this and ride this to my grave when there's no evidence to back it up. And there have been times that when I'm looking for videos to talk about, when I'm looking for for, for subjects to talk about and make a video. There's a lot of times that me and my friends will pass stuff back and forth and I'll have to say, hey, wait a minute, this one thing we stumbled across that I almost made a video on, it's not true. And yeah, it made Donald Trump look like a complete buffoon. Yeah, it made Marjorie Taylor Greene look like a complete buffoon, but you know what? It's not true, so we're not gonna talk about that. More people has to develop that type of mentality. Because you can go online right now and you can find all sorts of things to bash whichever side of the aisle you're on. You can find stuff to bash the other side. But is that the kind of stuff you want to continue to pump out into the world? Stuff that ain't true? Or do you really hate fake news as much as you say you do? If you really are such an opponent of fake news, then these deep fakes should disturb you and you shouldn't be sharing them. Despite how you feel about Taylor Swift. Despite you, you, you may you may completely dislike her, dislike everything she stands for, dislike Travis Kelsey, the whole thing. You may hate the Kansas City Chiefs now. You may think that whole game is rigged, whatever. But if you truly care about the truth and you think the other side is spreading misinformation against you, then why on earth would you want to turn around and spread misinformation in the other direction? Now, I know that I'm not talking to very reasonable people on that side of the aisle, but you get my point. 
There has to come a point where we say to ourselves, okay, this is the truth. I might not like it, but I just got to accept it. And until we can get there, it's going to be pretty scary going forward because with all the misinformation, with all the AI, the deep fakes, and people just hoping, hoping something is true so they can dodge all accountability and not have to face the facts, yeah, it's just going to get worse.